a day in ancient Greece. Cuckoo wahoo! Let's spend a day in ancient Greece. We'll start at the Agora, an open marketplace. Here, people shopped for all sorts of things, including food. Do you like cheese? In ancient Greece, there weren't many cows, so people ate cheese made from goat's milk. What else did people eat? Octopus was a big favorite, although lunch was usually a simple meal of bread, cheese, and figs. People also ate a lot of olives and sweetened their food with honey. At dinner, people ate barley porridge, which is like oatmeal. Yes, oatmeal for dinner! Did people buy forks or spoons at the Agora? Maybe, but these were for cooking, not eating. They used their fingers for eating. Around the center of the Agora are stalls, or small shops. If you wanted sandals, the shoes most Greeks wore, you'd go to a shoemaker or cobbler. He'd trace your foot so your sandals would fit perfectly. In other stalls, you might buy oil lamps. These use oil for fuel instead of electricity. Oil lamps and candles were the only light people had at night. That's why after sunset, Greeks usually went to bed. What kind of oil was used in the lamps? Olive oil. Olive oil was also used for cooking, to make perfume and makeup, and to rub on athletes. In Athens, it was a crime to pull an olive tree out of the ground. After wandering about the Agora, let's go home and enjoy time in the courtyard. A courtyard is a garden surrounded by all the rooms of a house. Children might play with toys in the courtyard. Just like children today, children in ancient Greece played with toys. They had dolls, yo-yos, wooden horses that rolled on wheels, rattles, and balls made from wrapped up rags. Board games were popular with adults. One game was a bit like checkers but played with dice, sort of like backgammon. A painting drawn on a vase shows two mythical heroes, Achilles and Ajax, playing such a game. Did people wear clothes? Of course they did. Both men and women wore tunics called chitons. Men's tunics were usually short, but a woman's chiton reached her ankles and was often brightly colored. Where could people purchase the cloth needed to make their chitons? You guessed it, at the Agora. Cuckoo wahoo! That trip to ancient Greece was fun! I have an important job for you. Which one did the ancient Greeks use for light at night? The ancient Greeks used oil lamps for light at night. Which does a cobbler make? Cobblers make shoes, like sandals. Who is not wearing a chitin? The woman dressed in pants is not wearing a chitin. What was special about the Agora? Tap the green button to record. Tap again when you're done. I like I I liked about the chitin. You've learned so much today. Let's share your ideas. Flying feathers! I have some fun for you. Would you like to draw, record, or are you all done? Greek chitons are beautiful. I'd love to see how you would color it. Stamps.
Stamps.